All right, so the one, the one game-changing item we bought, which could really upgrade and change our entire online business, um, score. We only paid ten dollars for it. Check this out. This is amazing. Dolly, you never show me nothing but kindness. She would say, I know how sad you get. And some days I still get that way, but it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. All right, what is up, everyone? Where are you going? <laughs> the bathroom. Tripping over everything? But what is up? Um, here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. Rainy day out, so I'm going to use a little bit of time to try and get our sails under control but it's raining out it has been since we woke up and we are sitting here in what has become partially an ebay room partially a room for hoarding as you can see it was pretty clean in here but now as you know if anyone else does this picking life it's pretty easy to get cluttered um, when you're always buying gold but, okay, so one of our viewers, our friend Kat, who actually buys, has bought stuff from us in the past, bought this plaque the other day. And then recently, a day or two later, she wanted to purchase all three of these pairs of L.L. Bean shorts also. So that and that is getting shipped together. So we sold, these are all from the big bag sale um, we paid $40 for the whole bag and we already have made our money back off of it and are able to give good deals to people um, so I gave all three of these for 20 with shipping included so each one less than $5 for a pair which would be much more expensive in real in the store obviously uh, these jeans Levi's it's only charged five dollars plus shipping for them so they're going out and then we sold this curse eagles jersey for ten dollars plus shipping um, we have sold on ebay these two items which is kind of funny mortal kombat for playstation 4 sold for eleven dollars so with fees i think we'll profit like nine or eight dollars so not bad, I bought it for one, so we made seven. That's not bad at all, though. And then we sold these Game Gear Mortal Kombat games, which is kind of funny. Two different buyers and two different, two different buyers, two different Mortal Kombats from different decades. So I'm going to be posting up some more stuff today. I have this Tonka little camper truck that I think I'm going to put on Etsy. Um, believe it or not, these Toys R Us bucks might actually sell on eBay. I saw a few sales of those, which is kind of crazy. We got those for free. And we bought this Furby, still in the pack, from an estate sale in Virginia. Going to post that on eBay. This vintage coach scarf head wrap thing. Going to post that on Etsy, I think. So we have just started our Etsy account. We haven't made a single sale yet. We only have two items on there, but I'm thinking about posting about 10 to 20 things in the next couple of days just to see how it goes. I've heard great things about it, and that's what we're going to do. So, yeah, we use, so far we use eBay. Not so much, though, but eBay. We sell, like, a few items, I would say three, four items a week, maybe more. We use Instagram to sell stuff, we use our YouTube, and now we're going to start using Etsy and see how that goes. But I definitely, oh yeah, we'll obviously offer up locally and Craigslist, but I would suggest using as many outlets as possible because one thing, unless you're like a really avid ebay person who's really good at it and knows can can post quick and knows prices quick like who's been doing it for a long time i would suggest using as many different outlets as possible because 
you never know what's going to sell where and you always want to have your options open cuz like these might have been these clothes might have been hard to sell on eBay and more of a hassle than really worth it for the prices we got but just the fact that some people watching our videos wanted them and they could get a good deal on them and we could get them out uh move them out is cool so i think we're going to try to go it is mother's day so my mom and dad and sister and cousin are coming over here uh to have a breakfast just bagels and stuff but we're hoping that it's going to clear up a little bit outside so we can go trash picking later on so stay tuned that's what we're going to try and do the dream all right something pretty cool that happened our friends uh, Luke and Melissa yesterday, fellow pickers from the area, gave my mom this to give to my mom, which is a vintage Christmas ornament that they got out of a storage unit that they bought. Um, it's a little tangled up, but it's really cool, made in Hong Kong. So it is Mother's Day, and she's going to get this gift from them. And Sammy got her a pillowcase too, which is really cool, uh, vintage embroidered pillowcase with an elephant on it, but here we go. So you can't go that way. You can't. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this, so this is from, uh, this is classic. do you remember that guy Luke and Melissa that came here to do the electric? Yeah. They gave this for you. Thank you, this is awesome. Classic, absolute classic. More Christmas Thank you. That's what she needs. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> I love old Christmas decorations. Yeah. Do you want something? Should we fix it? Two? Me? Yeah. No, I'm good. Why are you feeling left out? No, absolutely uh, not. Oh, he did. Did you see his face? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a rainy day out here, but it's not going to stop the dream. We're going trash picking. We're gonna hit up our local neighborhood that on the other side of town. Oh wow, it's windy too. On the other side of town, there's a trash day tomorrow. So we're figuring people are gonna start putting stuff out. And then we might go off to some shore towns, some beach towns, and trash them. A couple places we know that also have trash day tomorrow. So we're gonna go hit our local neighborhood first. Start from the closest area in case we just find pure gold there because we have before, so we're on it. Treasure in the most unlikely places, always. So, here we have the first pile of trash today, which is super heavy duty, borderline creepy but maybe something something good. You never know. But wow. They had something wild going on in their house. Can't even pick that right now. It's too much. Too, di too heavy. All right, so we are cruising oh, yeah. the yard sale treasure map. And we see a sale that ran yesterday and today. It's an estate sale. And we're gonna go check it out. You never know unless you go. So, just to, right here. We yeah, go. take take a turn here. Right. Yeah. And then it'll be. I think we've been we've been to an estate sale literally on this street. A good thing I like so far about this, I see the sign right there, and it doesn't look like it's a legit company, which could either be good or bad, but usually good because the companies around here try to really smoke you on the price, and like the whole point is to just unload the house in my opinion if I was having an estate sale I'd be concerned about unloading the house more than anything oh it's going it's going it's right here we have to this house yeah. I haven't ever for a sale you mean yeah mm. no? I don't think so uh. yeah I would assume. Nine to two, so. Two. So we'll see what they say. Well, it's like 159. Hey, 
are. So cool. Veggies are made in Korea. Doesn't even say. Those are cool though. I'd get those for a dollar. Uh, no. I mean, okay. Alright, so I'm seeing this scale right here. Might be a dreamer. Gotta pull this out. But look at this. I found a little princess bowl for Sissy. It doesn't say princess, but it's still princess bowl. You don't like to get something for Pop? It's no point bowls. The knife and fork in the ashtray though. That's kind of a classic, but only for around here. Mountain Dew pepper shakers. Dude, kind of sick for some. For I mean, somebody who likes Mountain Dew. Honestly, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker for Mountain Dew. This How is much not, is that dream? This is fake. Obviously. Look at it says on it though. What? It's like VR. Yeah. That's not, nine sick. bucks though. Not bad. Not bad. It's kind of cool. Kate Spade little is this a book bag. Oh, that's what? a dream. This is a dream. That might be a dreamer. This might be like. A I'm into that. Dreamer. What is this considered? Dude, Dude those shoes are... boots? Dude, how much do they want for them? I know, dude, we have brand new ones and I can't even get 50 know, for them. So Someone offered us 50 on eBay and I just turned it down. I offered, I offered back 80. These are super cool though. Australia Luxe Collection. This is a vintage. They're smart too because they're like vintage over 20 years old because people would be like, no, that's not vintage because it's only. Fur. This is really nice though, these. I knew. We were walking out and he's in there going, he's going to love that. So we just bought this ridiculously nice scale for $10. Um, I got to open this door, but we just scored really big. All right, so we just scored a ridiculously ridiculously valuable, invaluable piece of equipment for our business. So this is gonna change the way that our shipping works forever, if it works the right way. So according to that dude. And like, look how cute these shoes are. Well, those are just straight fire. And how crazy, I didn't even have to ask her. How much did you pay for everything? 50 for everything, which is all I, that's gonna, what you wanted, I was right? gonna ask her if she'd do everything for So me. she got these shoes. I got this Kate, Kate Spade, Spade book bag. bag. It's vintage, it looks like. Because I tried looking them up online and all the newer ones look different. She was claiming it was vintage, so this will be... Uh, for sale. This will be for sale. When and I then we got the it. scale. Or you could just, I mean, if you were rocking the polo sport and that bag. I think with the tape on there, though. Never worn. Never it's funny she was trying to sell us some hunter bits <laughs> and talking red. them up, she was saying she spent 160 on them. And it's funny we can't even sell a brand new in the box ones that have never been worn for even 100. So it's funny how like the value of things because they spent so much on them, they still she's still valuing it in her head as so much, even though it would be hard to sell them again for even probably 50 after being worn. But uh. Yeah, we scored big, so I'm stoked we went there. Super stoked, and they were really nice. And according to that dude, he was I should have filmed it, but there was music in the background, so I didn't want to get a copyright claim. This hooks into, basically he ships packages for his business, and he had two of these, so he sold one, and it hooks into the computer, and you can get the USB connector he's had for a laptop, and the program, whatever it is, that you can download, I guess it's stamps.com or something, you can print your own labels through the scale 
like it'll weigh it on the, the program prints the labels and it saves it in the program too so like if you ship to someone one time it'll just save it in there print another label so I think you can hook it up through eBay and just either way just having a scale that weighs up to that amount past like 50 pounds is a huge value in itself because some of our items are way heavier than the scales we own already but uh, he was like, I knew, I knew someone that does eBay is going to see oh, this and want to so buy excited. it. He was, right? Yeah. Okay. So, the thrift store is open on Sunday. Usually closed on Sundays, but it is Mother's Day, so they're open for a Mother's Day sale. And as you all know, Sammy is a mother of four babies, cats, four kids. Four bratty kids. How is it raising four kids? Eh. No, yeah, for real. It's not easy. It's not easy. Like, they might not be humans, but it's just as much work when you actually care about them like they are. Look what they, uh, Alice and Oliver sent you. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms whose children have four legs and fur. That's so classic. <laughs> you didn't see that before, right? No. All right, we're going to go that. in here and check out. We just scored, so going to go to the thrift store now. Just just in case, keep the ball rolling. So we've gone in this thrift store so many times not and not got any gold. And we went in here one time and found a Kuji sweater that we ended up selling for 100 And we bought it for 8 And probably sold it for undervalued. Probably could have gotten like 150 if we held out. But you can find gold in unlikely places. These shoes, they say tweak on them. Tweak. And then they say Tommy shoes that are so nice. It's way too big. This is an Oscar de la Renta silk scarf that I found, not Sammy. I'm taking credit for this one. This thing, it's nothing great, like brand wise or anything, but $5. And it opens out like this, and I can just put all kinds of patches, pins, knickknacks, you know, jewelry, vintage, whatever in here for the flea. It's a good, good little bag for that price. What's the claim? All right, so really, really sad because this is the one thing I bought, like, for myself. Uh, these don't fit. They're too small, I'm not going to lie. Uh, these are a size 6. But it's crazy because I can fit between a size 6 and a 7, but it, like I said before, it depends on the brand. This is a UK size 4, uh, and then US 6. Let's see them. Super freaking cute though. But I'm saying like a 6, like you have to be like a firm 6. Like, you either have to be a five, a five and a half, or like a firm six. Like, your foot has to be tiny. Let's see these. Well, you're probably a six and a half. Yeah. Because if this was a six and a half, he likes yeah. them. Let me see. This is real fur. Um, They're like $110 shoes. Australia Collective Lux. Never worn. Besides. Is she claiming never worn? I mean, that's what she was claiming. Oh my gosh, they smell brand new though. If yeah, my feet were if my feet right? were in these ever, oh, these that are one white. Shows Think the tag about it. On it. And they're like uh, no. we'll post them on eBay. So or Etsy or whatever. I'm like really like sad about this. I'm not even gonna lie, cause like I love platform shoes, and you can't really be sad because you got them for a good price. Got them for a good you're price. You're gonna easily be able to sell them. Exactly. And so. you had the thought of wearing them in your mind for an hour. So that was a good thought. <laughs> Pops loving all the new stuff. But here we go. I got the Oscar de la Renta little scarf. So I guess they donated it probably because it has this on the end that's like fraying. I don't think that's the style. I think it's missing a couple strands. But it's still really cool. I'm probably going to try and charge like 15 for it. It's silk, made in Japan. So it's vintage for sure. It's cool. 
Although it does have a little stain on it, and I'm seeing now that I didn't notice before. But oh well. This I'm a little I'm pretty stoked about, just due to the fact that I can put um, little like pins, and stickers, patches, accessories in here. Take it to the flea market. These even come out, which I didn't even recognize. So like you could just get rid of that one, or just pull them out, throw them on the table. You know, and have them all, all organized. But I should have just bought all the ones they had of these. I guess it's a makeup case, but it's perfect for what I'm trying to use it for. J M New York. So Sammy did score something for herself. Let's be real here, guys. I did, but it, brand like, new. It fits a little weird. Not really. It's actually really nice. It's cool though. You'd obviously wear like a shirt underneath of it, but. It's like corduroy. Nice. Alright, so the one the one game changing item we bought, which could really upgrade and change our entire online business. Um, score. We only paid ten dollars for it. Check this out. This is amazing. So here it is. Fairbank scale. Um, it plugs it you can plug it into your computer. It can weighs up to, I gotta look it up, but he was saying like past 50 pounds, he used this. This thing is like super duper heavy, hardcore. Um, he used it for sending packages. He was saying over 25 pounds for some of them. And he has like two or three of these. We plugged it in at the house, it works. And I'm stoked, really stoked. This is one of the best single items we picked up in a long time, literally. For ten dollars, I could turn around and sell this again, um, probably for close to fifty or, or more. But I'm definitely going to put it to use. So I'm going to see. I'm going to look into it, see how possible it would actually be used, like on a program to hook it up. But other than that, I'll just have it plugged in in the garage. And when I have an item that that's big, and we need to ship it, or we'll literally just plop it on the scale and it's good to go, we'll know the weight right away. So this took the game way up, um, the online game. So we have been posting a lot online, uh, selling stuff slowly but surely, and I do think that um, we're gonna turn our online business into something much more profitable in the next couple months, because uh, I'm gonna put more time and energy into it. So stay tuned for that. Just getting confused about what's going on in here. She's got me modeling these outfits for our new Etsy account. Mm -hmm. Papa. So she's taking pictures with the phone. Let's see after. I'll show you guys the pictures after in the video. Hopefully I remember. Alright, so we're taking these pictures of the Harley stuff. The lighting makes them look like they have stains though, and they don't. Like, see how it's like... Do you see it? I see it. But it doesn't show up in the pictures. But what are you going to do? Because it doesn't have stains. These are like mint condition, these shirts. For 95s, yeah. Yeah, these things are so stool. old. Got my step stool ready. Pop up. Trying to make my... To these make are coming up on 30 year old shirts. 25 years. Not 30. Got that one. You want to try this on, brother? He would look good in it. Pop up likes to make my life difficult and get his freaking hair everywhere. Mm hmm. We know. Alright, we're in the cat's room back here, the Landis and Lucky room. And Lucky's getting her combing going look at on. This. So much. Well, no wonder they have they had so many. Because uh, no one brushes her. She's a it. princess. She needs to be brushed and have pretty hair. But we finished creating our Etsy account. Um, so I've heard on a comment that Poshmark is better than Etsy for selling clothes. But we're gonna give this a try. Ooh, ow! She's like scratching me now. Ow! She's kneading on you. That's hurting me though. Uh -huh. But here's what we got. 
two, four, six, <laughs> nine. We got nine items only on there so far, but we just started it in the last 24 hours. Um, so yeah, if you got an Etsy, please go give us a follow. Check out what we got on there. And we're going to keep it updated. Ooh, her ass stinks. And just try and, try and keep it fresh. So another tool to use uh, for the drain. And we're still working out the glitches. But, uh... This is what it's going to look like. It's a picture of Sammy. And it's as easy as that. So, thank you guys for watching another video. Um, we did do some work on the Etsy today. We did some work on... on I posted some Etsy. stuff on eBay. S packaged some stuff from eBay. Packaged some other stuff that we sold. I have another thing to package. Made some sales on... Off of just YouTube and Gmail. And I do want everyone who's interested in anything we have for sale to please email us um it's the best way if you leave it in the comments i might not see it uh, you can email us and so everything's just together um and that's tfunub at gmail.com but we are contemplating a ton of different business ideas um to just get our stuff out there and to maximize the profits on our items because we have been selling stuff for under value i would say almost since we started just because it's hard to get that maximum value and even on ebay it's hard because stuff sits for a long time and it's hard to hoard tons of items um when you need to just move them along so Come on, landis two babies landis is getting f his the thing his is crew. landis has like short these like, two are so cute though. as hair like yeah, it's short. Obviously, they shaved him fully. Maybe yeah, he's so nappy. Like her hair is like soft. Landis got the nip naps. He yeah, has he ever nappy. licked himself though, dude? Yeah, I've seen him clean himself, but he can't reach his back. So. <laughs> it's just but, my back. Yeah, thank you guys all so much for the continued support. We're literally reaching towards forty thousand subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Um, and the dream continues I'll every get, day. I'll get I think it's important that you just stick to the plan and stick to what you're doing in life um, it's much easier to accomplish things if you have faith and you have dedication and perseverance towards one goal one thing many goals one thing one outcome uh, it's really hard when you just do things for almost like a hobby thinking they might work out but not really putting a lot into them um, and if you put all your all into something it's hard for it to fail that's what I claim but we'll see you guys tomorrow for some more claims coffee before claims what's the, claim, the closing statement here about the babies wow you all see uh, land is stuck to stuck to his plan succeeded so, what was his plan? His plan was to take over the world. Ah. Uh, his plan was just to take over our hearts, and it worked. They brought. Oh wait, no, Lucky Girl came here first, but yeah. She didn't come in here though. Nah, Landis did. He's my boy. Got that nappy nappy. That nippy nappy, but yeah, so look he's cleaning her. Good night or good morning. Look at my babies. Cleaning each other. They're sweet. These guys don't really like they're like this is their actual room because they're outside cats and Sissy and MJ aren't. See MJ's outside of the door crying. But we try and come in here, you know, at night because like they don't get to sleep with us at night. Sissy and MJ do. So just to let them know that we care about them and they're not just like in the dungeon in here. Yeah. Looks like he likes his cleaning technique. Damn, that's how much fur came off of him. Really bad, dude. That's not normal. Like, Look at him. He's licking her while getting cleaned down. Uh -huh. And MJ's crying outside the door as if he ever even lets me brush him. 
So, like, if he acts jealous when I walk in there, he's playing too much.